Hello and welcome to Opera in Brief, the show that summarizes operas for your convenience and entertainment. Today we will be discussing Tchaikovsky's 1892 opera Iolanta, the last opera he ever wrote. The opera opens in the garden of a remote castle in Provence where the princess Iolanta is chilling with her maidens. She is blind but doesn't know it since her father said that no one is allowed to talk about sight around her under penalty of death. So obviously no one does. So she's just hanging with her maidens in the gardens and talking about feeling like her life is missing something and they all bring her flowers to cheer her up. It doesn't work so they sing her a lullaby which puts her to sleep and they move her into the castle. Then enter King Rene and a Muslim doctor named Ibn Hakia who will try to heal Iolanta and restore her vision. They begin to discuss Iolanta. Rene explains that she's betrothed to Duke Robert of Burgundy who also has no idea she's blind. Dr. Ibn Hakia says he can heal Iolanta but first they must tell her about her blindness so she can decide for herself to get treatment and even then it might not work. King Rene is really torn and walks off stage with the doctor to consider. Then Duke Robert and his friend Count Vaudemont sneak into the garden totally ignoring the sign that says keep out under penalty of death. Mostly because they think the garden is freaking awesome. Robert admits to Vaudemont that he doesn't want to marry Iolanta because he's fallen in love with another woman which let's be honest is a pretty big problem. Iolanta hears the strangers talking and comes out to tell them to hang out a minute while she brings them some wine. Vaudemont immediately immediately falls madly in love with her which let's be honest is an even bigger problem. Duke Robert is super uncomfortable with seeing Iolanta after admitting his love for another woman so he leaves but Vaudemont blinded by beauty stays. Iolanta comes back and Vaudemont confesses how wonderful he thinks she is and he asks her to pick him a red rose to help him remember the occasion. She brings him a white one and he's all, I said a red rose and she gives him another white one and he's like red I asked for red and she's like what do those words mean and he's like wait a second how many roses am i holding give them here let me count them oh my god you're blind i'm what you can't see what's that oh man you don't know what you're missing and he explains it all to her then the king and the doctor come back and he's more than a little upset to see Iolanta in the garden alone with a strange man. Who's this? Just a wonderful man. What did you talk about? Oh, nothing. Just the fact that I'm missing one of my senses. But don't worry, I'm not upset. The doctor is a little worried at her contentment since that means the treatment will fail. So the king comes up with a plan. So here's the deal. You love this guy, right? Absolutely. And you would do anything for him, right? Absolutely. Good, because you're going to get this surgery, and if it fails, he's going to die. Um, okay, doctor, please cure me. In comes the Duke of Burgundy to rescue his friend from his infatuation. Voudemont tells the Duke that he loves Iolanta. Then the Duke tells the King that he doesn't. The King is like, whatever, that's fine. This guy loves her and he's going to marry her. What? Oh yeah, I was never going to kill you. I just wanted her to want the surgery. All right, Duke, we can void the contract. Then a man comes out announcing that Iolanta's surgery is done, but he doesn't know the result. She comes out and everyone's waiting and she's like, What is this feeling? Oh my god, I'm dying! And the doctor is like, No, you're not. You can see. And she's like, Oh yeah. And everyone high-fives each other and thanks God. End of opera.